Starting from scratch at the 95 draft. The expansion team was making its first pick and fans were hoping it would be college player of the year, Ed O'Bannon. 21,000 in the house here at Sky Dome. They are waiting for the Toronto Raptors first choice. We want it! We want it! We want it! But the Raptors selection would take everyone by surprise. With the seventh pick in the 1995 NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Damon Stoudemire from the University of Arizona. Though he was not the people's choice, Damon had been hand-picked by general manager Isaiah Thomas, who saw some of himself in Stoudemire. I'm just happy that Toronto and Isaiah Thomas gave me this opportunity, and I'm going to try to make the most of it. And he would immediately set out to prove that Isaiah had made the right choice. Here's a young man that has no fear. And in fact, Isaiah Thomas told him after he drafted him, he says, that's the way I want you to play. I think he was very well-rounded in terms of his education in basketball and also his education about who he was going to grow up to be. And I think the Toronto situation for him was a perfect fit. Stoudemire then behind the back, spin, putting on his show. Seizing the reins as leader of the Raptors, the lightning quick Stoudemire became one of the top point guards in the league. And with his selection as NBA Rookie of the Year, he had silenced any remaining skeptics. The war means a lot to me. I don't think a lot of people thought I could do it. Never take this young man for granted because you're not going to see too many guys like this come along. Damon Stoudemire, pound for pound, the strongest guy in the league. A guy my size, you got to work extra hard because there are going to be a lot of doubters. You know, there are a lot of doubters when I came in the league, and there still might be a lot of doubters now. Push! Yeah. That's the point guard in the NBA, baby. Uh. And he'd force the rest of the league to sit up and take notice. That boy Stoudemire, he's really exciting. Somebody that you can get a bag of popcorn, sit there and watch and go, ooh. Stoudemire, oh, oh, my goodness, no! There's not one point guard in the league that wants to see Damon Stoudemire coming. Oh, what a move by Stoudemire. Stoudemire is probably one of the quickest with the ball. You're at his mercy and you just hope that he's having a bad day. One play that stands out in my mind is uh, we played Chicago and I made Ron Harper fall. Crossed him over, stepped back, kind of looked at him for a second, <laughs> hit the jumper. I'm going to fake you right <laughs> out of your shoes. <laughs> Come on, Walt, David, get some shots up and get out of here. Coach Darrell Walker, a former point guard himself, had come to appreciate David. Damon is a pro's pro, and one thing I like about him, he's from the old school. He just plays the game and goes home. Got to get into it earlier. Yeah. What I try to do is pick his brain a lot and see what he's thinking and see if we're thinking on the same page. What do you think the mismatches are? Well, today, yeah, I'm just asking you because I'm still we thinking the same way. I think, um, well, the point, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> that's obvious. I'm going to have to get this tattoo we done. It's going to be so wide. Mighty Mouse was always somebody who came to save the day. You know, when everything was down, he would come in and save the day, and that's kind of his attitude. He's going to put it up. Fires. Got it. Oh, my. He has a chance to be something really, really special in this league. I hope when he's done that y'all talk about he and I in the same breath. Uh, still. <laughs>